welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you for the word from the Lord. God is good. He's worthy of all of our praise. He's the Most High God, El Elyon El Che. I'm thankful that He is the God that never changes. He keeps our hearts and minds if we come to Him about anything. He will lead us in a path of right living. He will lead us in the right way. He will lead us in His righteousness. See, it's Him who made us His righteousness in Christ Jesus. When we believed on the Father and we received the Son, and we believed that Jesus Christ died and rose again, well, when we took in this wisdom, in this knowledge of God, into our hearts, we began to truly live. A life of purity, a life of holiness. Uh, now, I know you had wrong thoughts. We've had wrong thoughts and we've done bad things. But I'm telling you, the, the, the greater one that lives in us is taking all of that junk out. Anytime we fall down now and, and mess up, we can get up and come to our Father and say, I'm sorry, Father. And we can, we can He will help us to get right. See, He's going to lead us in his way of living his way of doing things he's going to lead us in such a way that when we come to him he won't throw us away he'll wash us and cleanse us from all of our unright thinking all of our unright doing does that mean that we might have to suffer the consequences of our actions yes but his word it takes the it takes out that desire to do that thing again. See, the word takes out sinful nature. We're we're going into the nature of God. Being born again means being born into the nature of God, being born from above into his nature, into his way of living, his way of doing things. So we're not leaning on <clears throat> our understanding and looking out into the world and grieving ourselves in our heart about oh how can I change this thing what can I do but we're leaning on the one who is and has always been and has made a way of escape for us right through Jesus Christ he is the way the truth and the life the only way to the father is through Christ Jesus the son of the living God that means that you know when you think about anything that you've done and it wants to hold you guilty, it wants to hold you captive. When I think about, what is that, Romans chapter 8, there's therefore now no condemnation. There may be conviction. Conviction and condemnation are two different things. A guilty sentence that, that just doesn't let you escape, that just holds you bound. Well, in, in Romans chapter 8, it says that it's the Spirit of God who gives birth to your spirit is the spirit of God who mortifies the deeds of the flesh he's reminding you of the word of truth he's bringing you through the word and you are being birthed through the birth canal of God into right living the Lord has a way for us to walk and not be grieved and be troubled with the trouble that's outside of us he has a way of bringing us through himself that it takes away the guiltiness and we find out his perfect love we find out his perfect peace we find out his thoughts for us the thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring us to his successful end his successful end is success for you and success it has it, got his name written all over it in fact it makes you not want to talk about anybody else but him him who is faithful him who is all that has always been. Him whose mercy is new every morning. And great is his faithfulness. Day after day. I mean, morning by morning, his mercies are new every single day. The Lord doesn't want us shackled. We weren't made to be shackled. He made provision for us in the Word. In the Word, it says that that we don't have to we don't have to be uh, debtors to the flesh 
we don't owe this this mind, will, and emotions nothing but to make it prostrate before the Lord. In order to not lean on my own understanding so that I'm not drawn into sin, I lay it down before Him. You know, I, I lay it down before Him. We have to have an understanding of what is going on all around us. We have to have an understanding of the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. We have to understand that we have a real enemy who wants to steal, kill, and destroy. He, he mocks us in the day. He mocks us in the night. He sends confusion and dreams and, and, and disasters. <laughs> Read Psalm 91 again. And it's to begin to recognize, wake up and begin to recognize the spiritual warfare that goes against our souls. Our mind, will, and emotions. We cannot, we cannot live through what we feel, and we cannot live through what we see. We have to walk by faith in God. You know, when we were children, we trusted our parents or whomever was in charge of your life. We gave our life. Well, we didn't have any choice. We were, we, we were children. You always have somebody who has to buy the food, somebody who has to buy the clothes, who has to clean the house. And I know they make us do it, but still, <laughs> if we've had parents, then we know what it's like to be under their rule. And when you turned 18, 16, 18, whatever age you were, and you left home, you took your own life into your hands, and you were responsible for you. And you know what it feels like to have somebody else in control of your life, and you know what it feels like to have you in control of your life. But when we give it to the Lord, the salvation, the deliverance that he gives us, he gives us like a clear view of what we were walking in, what we were going through without him. And, and again, we have to know the difference between the kingdom of God and the, and the kingdom of darkness. Because in this knowing him we end up understanding the nature of our flesh our feelings we understand the nature of God and his will for our lives it becomes birthed in your heart his will by sitting with him and listening to him by calling out on him and pouring your heart out to him his mind becomes I want to say his, yeah, his mind becomes your mind Isaiah chapter 55. Let's go there for just a minute. Seek ye the Lord, 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found and call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way. Yes, that's you and that's me. And let the unrighteous man his thoughts. Give up his thoughts. Forsake him. Get, yes, give him up. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him for God and to our God for he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith the Lord for as the heaven is heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and your thoughts and my thoughts wait let me let me go back so are my ways my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts for as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and returns not there but waters the earth and makes it bring forth the bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return void but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper the thing whereunto I send it. For you shall go out with joy, and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills will break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of, instead of thorns shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be the, to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Now, you know, when you think about that, let's this, this just touch this end part. We're not talking about Snow White movie, Cinderella movie. 
where you know they come out and the birds and the bees are all whistling and singing with them <laughs> and the mountains are clapping and everything's singing and you know this should tell you that there is a spiritual world and God's word God's world for us is good his word that he speaks into our hearts and writes unto it writes in our minds it's in our mouth and it's in our heart and we you can read it that's in Romans chapter 10 Romans chapter 10 read it for yourself it, it says that you know this is the word of faith that we speak we speak these things that be not as though they are this reality right here of God's goodness and mercy in our lives where with things are working together for our good it happens because his word is in our heart and in our mouth and this is the word of faith that we speak the gospel is all about God is he is our salvation the kingdom of God has come to us this is the kingdom that Jesus was sending his disciples to go preach and teach about when he sent them out the 70 out he told them to tell them about the kingdom Jesus comes out of the wilderness preaching repent change your mind for the kingdom of God is near it's near you it's right at hand turn around here's the kingdom all we've got to do is turn around and see God's goodness and his mercy for us he loves us with a true agape love and you say how can you say that with all of the things that are going on in the earth today you know what's going on in the earth today is a result of people turning away from him God's hand has covered the earth God's hand has covered us if when his hand moves it moves for a reason and all we have to do is draw near to God and he will draw near to us he will comfort you in this time and take care of your house in this time but it never says in this whole entire book that we would not have to go through anything the whole world is going to be shaken read the book of revelations the book is I mean the whole world is supposed to be shaken but the kingdom of God that is in us is not shaken the kingdom of darkness will be shaken and all kingdoms of the earth that, that are out of him will be shaken but the kingdom of God that is in us that we have turned to whom we whom we this, this the father of heaven and earth whom we come to this God of our salvation we are not shaken because we are in him we are hid in Christ with God and no matter what happens you are wise children you are wise children because see you keep your face in the word you trust the living God he'll get you through this thing is your shield and surrounding shield the word is your shield and it's your buckler your surrounding shield this word of God that he has put in our heart and put in our mouth it that he has put in our heart and written on our mind is however <laughs> all I know is that he puts his word in there as we have come to his table and sat down and ate it and we are strengthened in the inner man by this word and the light of the world is lit he's lighting through us he's caused us to be lit and in him and we are radiant to the world we are beautiful to the world even if they hate us they hate us because of the glory of God the beauty of his holiness they hate his holiness now I'm not saying everybody see we have to shine his lights in this world or many will not be saved and many will continue to be deceived we the children the true children of God must come nearer to this water and drink and eat we must come to this place where we know that he is who he is forever and ever uh, wake up children of God and hear his voice sit down with him you know lately I have been having a hard time talking and walking with him about the, and I'm just talking to him about the things going on that have been going on in my life 
and I'm getting a little frustrated for the length of time that it's been going on. And I bet keep hearing him. I, years ago, I heard him say, you know, go do a puzzle. I said, what can I do about it? Go, go play a game. <laughs> go do a puzzle. Do something. And I, I would try, and I'm like, oh, what is use is this? But you know, this morning I heard, go for a walk. Go in the yard. Walk around. Work on your website. When I really wanted to just read my word, and I couldn't read it. And in my frustration, I said, okay, let me just get up and in my mind going, it's cold outside. I don't want to go out there. It's cold out there. It's too early in the morning. You know, the sun just came up. It was only going to 55 today. So you know that it's not warm, warm out there. So I, I, I put on my exercise clothes and I took the walk outside. And when I stepped outside, it really wasn't all that bad. That the sun was shining. felt so good. And I absolutely felt free in my heart. To be able to come and sit down and, and put this together when I had no thought to do it. No, no real words a uh, plan of action here but it's okay what I'm saying is this is relax God is in control even if it looks out of control we will be with the Lord forever relax and trust him whatever good thing he gives your hand to do do it do it and get up sit down <laughs> and relax go outside if you have a yard garden if you have a porch garden make a garden do something that is productive in your life that is that that causes you to just relax and I'm not talking about TV I'm gonna get on TV for just a minute I noticed something as I was watching it the other day, my, my eye got caught on the story Pan, you know, about Peter Pan, Pan. <laughs> and I, what I noticed is how it grabbed me and sucked me and I was supposed to be doing something else. But that thing got my mind and there I sat. And I had to stop it because I got to work. I stopped it and I came back to it in the afternoon when I was supposed to be doing something else. And I turned it on again and I got stuck. You know, the TV is very powerful and seducing. The enemy knows exactly what he can put before your eye to cause you to, to waste your time. You know, I could have did that any other time. But there are certain times when we need to be doing what is good and not what is leisure. I'm not saying that all TV is bad, but it's, the, it's a timing thing. It's a timing thing. Be careful of what you put before your eyes and what time you put you put it before your eyes. If there's something good we ought to be doing, that's what we ought to do. I pray the Lord bless you with the reading of the word that it was read to you. Open your eyes to see what you need to see. But be wise children right now. Don't be the five foolish bridesmaids. Be the wise bridesmaids. Because we're getting ourselves dressed. We're getting ready for the day of Jesus Christ. This is not a fairy tale. And if you look and you read your word, you know that this is true. Jesus will be here soon. But many are called and few are chosen. But better yet, when I was waking up this morning, I heard this on my wake up. Many are... <laughs> How'd it go? Many are flawed and few are chosen. And all of my dreams have been about getting ready, getting dressed, being prepared. Not for the evil that's coming into the world, but for the return of Christ. And if we busy ourselves with getting dressed in the knowledge of God, praying and fasting, um, turning off what needs to be turned off before our eyes and putting Christ before us go relax <laughs> and sit in the sunshine if you can 
if we practice his presence we're making ourselves ready for when he comes it doesn't mean that you always have to be doing a work it just means that put out to put on Christ means trust God relax go sit down someplace in the sunshine and relax put your feet in the water take a walk do your feet do something do your nails do something that relaxes you that's good and relaxes you <laughs> put yourself in that place where we know that we know that the Father is and so is the Son the Holy Spirit is speaking to our hearts and we need to hear him right now we need to hear him right now I was reading in Proverbs and I'm ending it in just a second but in Proverbs chapter 2 I believe I was at no, chapter 3, it says, 13, verse 13. Happy is the person who finds wisdom, the one who gets understanding. Wisdom is worth more than silver. It brings more profit than gold. Wisdom is more precious than rubies. Nothing you can, you could want is equal to it. With her right hand, wisdom offers you a long life. And with her left hand, she gives you riches and honor. Wisdom will make your life pleasant and will bring you peace. As a tree produces fruit, wisdom gives life to those who use it. And everyone who uses it is happy. And when we talk about wisdom, we're talking about the Holy Spirit. The Lord made the heaven, made the earth using his wisdom. The Lord made the earth using his wisdom. He set the sky in place using his understanding. With knowledge, he made springs flow into rivers and clouds drop rain on the earth. Verse 21. My child, hold on to wisdom and good sense. Don't let them out of your sight. They will give you life and beauty like a necklace around your neck. Then you will go your way in safety, and you will not get hurt. When you lie down, you won't be afraid. When you lie down, you will sleep in peace. Amen. You won't be afraid of sudden trouble. You won't fear the ruin that comes to the wicked because the Lord will keep you safe he will keep he will keep you from being trapped I love all of these promises of God and this is what we get when we listen to the Holy Spirit this is what we get when we go and we rest see we know that God is and this whole world it belongs to him and the reason it is the way that it is is because people have a choice to make. Who will you serve? If we put our heart in the hand of the living God and he tells us to take our rest, he's our refuge, he's our strength. He works everything out together for the good of those who love him. If we love him, we trust him, we go sit in the sunshine and we quiet ourselves he will let us know what we need to do and he will instruct us in the day and in the night he will lead us in a plain path he knows the enemy he knows the plans of his of the enemy day and night and he will keep us safe go over that again that was in uh, Proverbs chapter 3 verse 13 through 26 <laughs> and then it goes on to say whatever you know it goes on to say in verse 27 whenever you are able do good read that read that also because these are the good things that we would do in this time right here that we're in the Lord loves you the Lord keep you the Lord bless you the Lord make his face to shine upon you. You are a child of the living God. And the Lord loves you. Get your face in the word today. And eat him up. That Jesus Christ is Lord forever. And the kingdom reigns in us. Bye-bye.